your uh, first assignment for uh, like white balancing and uh, let's take a look here and um, let's see check out your white balancing in your ISO okay great yeah so uh, I can see over here that you've got uh, Let's see, I'm reading, I'm reading what you have to say here. I like how I physically took the shot even if the subject isn't commanding enough. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is great. You know, uh, being able to have something that's out of focus that kind of frames something in focus, that's really a nice um, way to show off, in this case, the subject of the bowling pins. And... Um, and I love the fact that you uh, shot at 6400. Uh, a lot of people are a little bit afraid to try and shoot at that high. And um, in this case, it works out great. I can see that you used uh, a little bit more telephoto. That's, that's fantastic. And at 160th of a second, it, uh, it really will stop pretty much action. So... Uh, and I can see, you know, in terms of the white balancing, that uh, everything looks really good. So um, it doesn't really tell me right over here what uh, what your white balance was set at, but um, but everything looks uh, fantastic. So uh, good good job with this one. Let's take a look at the other ones here. And once again, 6400, very nice. A little bit more telephoto, great. With the ball heading right down the lane. That's fantastic. Yeah, and so the white balance and everything looks good. Okay. Looking good on this one, too. Um, okay, yeah, great. Uh, you know, sometimes, um, you know, in terms of your exposure, being able to, you know, if you're making any sort of changes to the things, that's, I can see a difference between this one and this one here in terms of the exposure. Uh, but the fact that you're still using 6400, that's great. That's what um, I would definitely recommend. Okay, all right. So now we have the dog. He looks rather intimidating here. And let's see. So you got 6400. Now when you're outside, 6400, as you can see right here, your exposure is a 11250, um, which can be, um, you know, you might reach the top end, and especially if it's a brighter day uh, or, or towards the middle of the day, uh, you're your telephoto, your or your shutter speed here might get to the point where you hit the top end of your um, of your shutter speed. So to also avoid a little bit of noise too, you know, noise inside is um, definitely much more acceptable. Okay, yeah, so 1250 here too. So um, well, when you're using a telephoto lens, um, up being up in the 800s and the thousands is that certainly is just fine for that because then your aperture tends to be um, a little more um, like in this case 5.6 uh, so in that case that compensation works out fine but um, it definitely stops you okay yeah so now when you're inside you've got your ISO at 5000 okay good so you definitely, in terms of your uh, shutter speed, you definitely want to try and keep it in the range of maybe um, a sixtieth of a second or faster for most subjects. And back to 6400, okay. Good. Really cute shot too. You know, the fact that your uh, point of view in this shot right here is at just below eye level. Um, really gives you a better sense of, uh, you know, the personality of, of, of the dog here. Okay. All right, so everything that I've seen in terms of white balancing and uh, ISO, I'm very happy with. Uh, you did a very nice job. You had these couple of different subjects. And um, the fact that you will use the 6400 it's not intimidating to you and <laughs> where it just seems like a lot of students just will not want to push their camera up to that uh, 
that higher speed. Um, and the fact that you know you got some nice shots, it seems like you're um, you're using several different kinds of focal lengths. You've got a little bit more telephoto on some of these shots, so that's great. That, and that really adds to getting like kind of a nice uh, dramatic shot here. Um, and and the fact that you had the uh, in this case right here, your aperture was probably wide open at 5.6, and you, you've got this nice sharpness on your dog's face. And then um, the fall off because of the uh, depth of field in the background keeps you know gives you much more. It um, makes the the portrait of your dog pop. So that's that's really nice. So all in all, great job. Keep up the good work.